Hello everyone, Emily here. Today I want to show you how to do a lion with its massive mouth open and I want to base it on David Shepherd. He was one of my favourite, favourite artists. He still is, he's just not alive anymore. He died in 2017 and um, yeah, he was an amazing artist. He painted almost like photographs from real life. I've pretty much done quite a few videos on David Shepherd because I love him so much. And I'm gonna show you some images that he's painted. Can you see it? Look, it's so realistic. It's a big tortoise. And then we've got him sitting there with his painting. He painted a great big tiger. Then, this is a painting that he did of a lion. How cool is that? Honestly, it's beautiful, isn't it? So today I'm going to attempt to draw a lion in the style of David Shepherd. Obviously, it doesn't have to be exactly like how he does it. So what you're going to need is a landscape piece of paper. So this way um, we need a pencil. I'm going to use a pen just so you can see. And I'm going to try and find one that works. Make sure your pencil is sharp and ready to go. Okay, right, so the first thing you're going to need, let's just think about how we want the face to be shaped. So I'm going to do a line. So I'm going to do, if you think about your page, it's not there, it's not there, it's more in the middle. So you're going to do almost like a lying down la, if that helps. So a lying down la, and then you're going to draw some bumps on the la. So you're going to go one, two, three. Then you want to round off the la. So we're getting there. <laughs> then what you want to do is create a nose here. So what you want to do is go you and a mountain. So you and a mountain and then another you that goes out a little bit. It's going to be a little bit smaller, this bit. And you're going to go raw. So you did a U, mountain, another U that went out, round it off and go raw. And then you want to join this to this. So I'm going to join it like that because that one's a bit too further down. So this is my nose. So then I'm going to just do a little nostril. that's like that. Maybe one that side. And I'm going to draw something that looks like his cheek. So it's going to come from there. So put your pencil right there and you're going to go down and around. So this is now, you know, the bit where the whiskers are. So we can put the dots and we can put some whiskers out if you like, because then it helps you to know where you're going. So once we've done the whiskers, we want to do the mouth open. So we're going to touch here. And we're going to go down. Can you see there? So you're going down and then touch under here and you're going to go down. But can you see the big gap that I've left? I've left a big gap. So make sure it's almost like a triangle. It goes. Then when you get to this bit, you want it quite wide. So almost like your hand. It depends how big your hand is. And then you want to do a U shape. So can you see that U? Then, like that. So think about, we're not doing shapes so much at the moment. I'm doing like lines. So hopefully you can understand this, but we're doing a U and then a great big roundy bit. And now we can concentrate on the mouth. <laughs> so we're gonna do the teeth. So you've got one big tooth there and maybe like a little tooth in there. And where this tooth is, we're going to just touch you remember you did that line. We're going to go down because it's part of his mouth. Then here, we're just going to, can you see that line? We're going to touch just there. We're going to go round. Whoop. And what you want to do is you want to create the teeth again. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to touch this bit here and go down. Then one, two. So they're like U shapes, they're to belong to the teeth. Because then we're going to go one, two, and then join it up. So just go whoop. Then I'm going to get your rubber. If this is too fast, just 
pause the video because there's a lot to get through. I just want to make sure I show you everything. Okay. So let's have a look at my one. Okay, so now we're going to rub out this. Don't need that anymore because it's a roundy nose. And then you've got the eye just about, I'd say just about there. And then you could do a little line there perhaps. And then just where you've got that line there, you want a big ear. So just like that, nice big shape. Just do a big ear. Big ear about here. <laughs> okay, so then we're gonna do hair because he's got a massive mane. But first, try and think zigzag, zigzag. And it's not, it doesn't have to be neat. And you're gonna do a line going up. And then you know in there, it's like a tongue. So just do like a little line there. I think probably be one there as well, another tooth. Let's see. Did this a bit of a strange angle, but I think you know what. Yeah, his tooth might be the other way, but that's okay. Then we want the mane, so we're gonna go. La, 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 la. Be as be as big as you like because it's the mane. So it's lots of hair. It's got it coming from there, and to make it look like a mane, it's really good to just keep doing the V's. So it goes around his head. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm kind of doing zigzags. So you could just do as many as you like because he's got a body there, but you won't see it. So to make it look more like it's his head, we're going to rub out this line here. So rub that. If this is too difficult to draw, just give it a go. Just see how you get on because it is quite tricky to draw anyway. But it's nice to try something, isn't it? I'm just wondering if I should... Probably. I might... I might rub that line out because I don't like it. Because it's kind of like the tongue. Okay, right. Now, what would be really cool, I'm trying to see it from the other video. Right, what would be cool is let's colour it in. So I'm going to use my trusty chalk pastels, but I think watercolour will be quite nice. Or just normal colouring in pencil would be brilliant. So I'm going to start off with a colour that looks a little bit like a sandy colour. So I'm just going to colour his face, but I'm not going to do that bit because that's normally white. I'm just going to do it like that. And I'm just going to smudge. So I'm blending it really nice chalk because it's just easy to use. It's a bit messy but it's kind of cool. You can use hairspray to fix it so it doesn't come off all the time. Then we're going to do a nice pink. Mine's going to look a little bit like a cartoony pink. It's going to be the tongue. It's kind of like the inside really. Could probably do some black in there somewhere isn't it? That, his gums would probably be quite red. Might be red, they might be black. I think they're more black, so we might do a little bit of a black one. And his nose is quite dark, so I'm going to start with the mane. Hmm. I like the idea of brown. So maybe I'm going to go over with a brown. I'm not doing it that carefully, am I? Look at that. But I'm doing it, kind of holding it on its side, because it's kind of easier. Most of the mane probably wouldn't be that brown, it'll probably be more, sometimes they're quite light. I'm putting a bit of orange now in there. I do like that colour that we had, it was the, um, there we go, that's nice. That's the um, sandy colour. Okay. So the E, you can't see that much. <laughs> now when you do hair with chalk, so cool, because you can get your finger and you can do this. It just makes it look more like hair because it comes off. It's really nice. So if you're doing it with pencil, 
do a little better than mine because mine's got all the black pen that you can see through. Quite a wild one there. I went to South Africa and saw um, it was like almost midnight above the stars and this lion just growled. It was really guttural. It was like, honestly, it was a sound that I've never, I've never heard before. It was amazing. So there's the hair. Right, now, I, th I think I'd like this to be more light at the edges, to be honest. I'm getting a bit of white. I don't want it to just stop there because it's hair, so it doesn't really stop because you've got the body. Yeah, I prefer that. It's funny how it's quite nice to sort of just fiddle with it. Okay, right. Now I'm going to get black. Okay, going to do this. Do the ear. I don't really want to go around the hair, but I like the nose. Got to be super careful with the teeth. My teeth look a bit strange. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's the way I placed it, because that one might be there more so than it. Okay. Now, I don't really want to do too much lines with the hair because it's quite nice that it's just everywhere. Right, let's have a look. Gosh, he looks, <laughs> he looks super angry. Mm. Like a lockdown lion, isn't it? Well, we're going to go over with our finger. Quite a tricky one to draw actually if they uh, got their mouth open. Definitely give it a go. See how you get on because yours might come out looking really good. Okay, there is my lion. There's my lion. I'm just looking in my video because I've got another, another screen. Oh, he looks quite fierce, doesn't he? I like the idea of putting red in there. Right, a bit, bit of red, that'd be cool. And there we go. There's my lockdown lion. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. Let me know how you get on. Like, subscribe and share. And I will see you for the next video. Bye.